Bitcoin. It's been bouncing around 19,000 to 22,000 yeah. since August. Mm. What, what is going on with Bitcoin? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the CEO of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, giving us her bullish prediction for Bitcoin, as well as what we can expect from the Fed and where the strengths and weaknesses are in the market. Wood says Bitcoin is in a race against traditional finance and asset classes. She remains one of the biggest cheerleaders for Bitcoin within the institutional space. Kathy has given us a bullish price prediction for Bitcoin's valuation by doubling down on her forecast of $1 million per coin. She is confident of Bitcoin's ability to be at the heart of a revolution in money, given its multiple use cases. Seeing as the fund at ARK Invest has tracked the performance of the S&P 500 over the past few years, it's been an extended and brutal bear market for stocks as well. Let's check out this interview with Kathy Wood as she talks about her outlook for the financial market and where she sees Bitcoin going on its upward track to $1 million. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content we do here on this channel. Let's get right into the video. I think the market's pricing uh, is pricing innovation as though we have a bad inflation problem that's going to take interest rates up even higher. We don't think so. We think actually the greater risk and opportunity is deflation. I think we're going to start seeing deflation on a month to month basis. Uh, we're already seeing commodity prices come down. They've broken down, many of them. That's, at the, that's upstream at the top of the pipeline. At the bottom of the pipeline, around the world, we're seeing a massive inventory overhang as we're heading into the holiday season. How will they clear that? Discounts. So I think cyclically, we're going to see deflation. We're already seeing it in the pipeline. Secularly, we will also see deflation. So it's interesting to watch our strategy as fears about Fed tightening and more Fed tightening uh, continue. Our, on, on many days when the market's down, our strategies are up. Now that is what tends to happen. I'm not promising this is where we are. My compliance department would never let that happen. <laughs> but in the later stages of a bear market, our strategy starts to outperform. Even, even it, it may just be that we're down less than the market. Some days we're up when the market's down. Why? Because during the later stages of a bear market, the new leadership shows up and starts performing. We're the new leadership. We always are. Um, and many people think, oh, I've got myself covered with the NASDAQ, NASDAQ 100. No, look deeply into those indices. Uh, we are the new NASDAQ. Uh, and most of our stocks are not in those indexes. So uh, yes, I think that we're seeing the early stages of a bottoming process. At the same time, many people are saying we're going into a recession. Now, we think we've been in a recession and that the, that the negative numbers will reassert themselves after this positive uh, third quarter, uh, mostly because of the inventory overhang, and we need to clear that out. I think uh, many forecasters may say, oh, this is going to last forever, this recession through. We think it's just a major inventory correction, and then we'll be on our way again. So a short-lived recession is what you're forecasting? Sure. Well, we, we, start, we believe it started at the beginning of this year. So if it ends in the middle of next year or the third quarter, um, it's not so short-lived. It's only short-lived given that many people in a midterm election year uh, don't agree that we're in recession now. A study created by ARK Invest advises on how to invest in crypto, whether you're more focused on decreasing volatility or increasing your sharp ratio. Wood feels that if everyone followed her method, it would dramatically increase the value of Bitcoin. The only issue is there is a large illiquid supply of people who hold Bitcoin and never sell. This restricts the flow of the digital commerce space. Our minimum hurdle rate of return for any stock to get into the portfolio is 15% at a compound annual rate for the next five years. We hit that in February of 21. Now with the massive downdraft we've seen, our rate of return expectations have never been higher. I've never seen them higher in my career. We had all the supply chain problems and we have a recession, which is going to force most companies to say, how do I increase productivity? How do I cut costs? Technology is usually the answer. So I think we're coming into a moment, uh, hopefully many moments, where innovation is solving problems and our revenue growth rates are going to surpass by far 
the revenue growth rates that the overall economy will deliver. This Fed has taken interest rates up roughly 16-fold in nine months. Now, economics takes place at the margin. Changes at the margin in all kinds of pricing, and interest rates are prices. Changes at the margin are incredibly impactful. And I think we will look back in history and say, wait a minute, a 16-fold increase in nine months without stopping to see what's happening is crazy. It's crazy. And this is, though, this is what will take inflation from up 8 to 10 percent, where we think it peaked, to negative. Robinhood is very user-friendly. And it is now moving into the crypto age, which is what it was missing. We've watched that very carefully. Uh, there is a company in Israel called Fireblocks. Um, and we were very happy to learn that Robinhood basically ended its strategy of building internally its own crypto platform from an infrastructure point of view and hired Fireblocks. Robinhood's core competency is the user interface, the convenience, ease of use, and so forth. So it, it could become either the digital wallet, more likely it will become a part of a digital wallet ecosystem, either alone, standalone, or in partnership, and in partnership with someone, or as part of someone else. Bitcoin, it's been bouncing around 19,000 to 22,000 since August. What, what is going on with Bitcoin? Relatively unvolatile asset at this Compared period. Compared to our other assets, right? Uh, it does appear that institutions are moving in. They're taking this price decline from nearly 70,000 to roughly 20,000 uh, as an opportunity to move into a new asset class. And, you know, in 2018, Cambridge Associates, which is a, 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 a consultant for the institutional space, basically said to its clients, okay, you may not like this thing called Bitcoin. It may sound like a Ponzi scheme to you, but it's acting like a new asset class. And that got their antenna up because what institutional investment managers cannot miss is a new uh, asset class that will diversify the portfolio, meaning lower the correlation uh, of the returns. And Bitcoin is doing that. And we think other crypto assets. And your team's holding well. on to the million dollar forecast. Oh, yes, more than a million. Above a million? Yes. By 2030. 2030. And in order to see the building blocks, you'll see we're not making crazy assumptions. What is noticed that innovation is number one, as it usually is when leaving a bear market. There is currently no way to tell if we're exiting the bear market or if we're only in a trading range. Wood is delighted to finally see that leadership is now focusing on growth and innovation. Leaders are now concentrating on the future rather than the past, which is normally the route most passive and benchmark sensitive strategies take. Wood is hopeful that these are signs that we are back on the right track and finished with recession and decreasing prices and currencies. What do you think of Kathy Wood's prediction for the future of the crypto industry? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Library of Wealth. We'll see you in the next video.